Mr. Park. Would you lie to this committee to get confirmed? Uh, no, Senator. You just did, didn't you? Uh, uh, I, I don't believe so, yeah. I've spent a lot of time studying your record. Um, you're a bright young man. You're an activist, aren't you? Senator, I don't think that's a fair description of my record. Okay. Um, you have a history of substituting your judgment for your client's interests. Um, my impression of your record, and I've studied it carefully, is that when you think you're smarter and more virtuous than your client or the law, you substitute your own judgment. And that's a dangerous thing to do if you're a federal judge. It's a dangerous thing that you have done as a solicitor general. Um, Burger v. North Carolina, State Conference of the NAACP. The North Carolina legislature, elected by the people, passed a voter ID law, NAACP, as is its right, file suit to challenge it. You were supposed to represent the people of North Carolina in the legislature. You dumped on the case, didn't you? You purposely tried to lose, didn't you? Uh, Senator, not at all. Well, you, uh, you, you, your opponents, NAACP, filed a multitude of affidavits and expert opinions. You declined to, to offer a single expert witness affidavit, didn't you? But, well, Senator, let me clarify. I had no role in the trial proceedings. I'm an appellate lawyer. Did, 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 did you in your office decline to file any affidavits whatsoever? I, I don't recall, Senator. I believe you, you that didn't. that is accurate. But I, again, I, I was not involved in the case at the time. I, I, I checked. You didn't. Um, at the district court ruled for the NAACP. Um, you didn't seek an injunction or a stay, did you? I believe that's correct. Yeah, yes. I know it's yes. correct. You dumped on the case. S Senator, I, I don't think that's a fair characterization of I what do. happened. I, I, I do, I, I do, yeah. and I think the, the facts bear it out. So th then, then you take it up on appeal. In fact, the, the, the leadership in the legislature, because you dumped on the case, they tried to intervene, said our lawyer is not representing us for God's sakes. They tried to intervene, the judge said no. So the case goes up on appeal to the Fourth Circuit. The Fourth Circuit reverses the district court, even though you and your colleagues tried to lose the case, that, and, you, and you did. Okay. Uh, it goes up to the Court of Appeal. Um, court of Appeal and the Fourth Circuit rules, against, rules in favor of the state. You're representing the state. You tried to appeal the decision that was in your client's favor, didn't you? Do you mean the intervention dispute, Senator? No. You tried to, to, uh, to reverse the Fourth Circuit that ruled in your client's favor. Uh, Senator, that is not accurate. Yes, it is. That is yes, it is. You, you filed a petition for an in-bank review to overrule the panel opinion. Uh, Senator, that's actually inaccurate. That, that's the uh, intervention dispute. Uh, when we, my office, uh, there were two parallel appeals, and on the merits of the appeal, which we did appeal the, 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 the non-entry of a preliminary injunction, and we prevailed on that appeal, working with the legislative defendants in that case. Okay. School funding case. You, you, you were supposed to, you and your colleagues were supposed to represent the state in that case. Uh, Low-income school districts, as happens in most states, sued the state to force the Republican legislature to increase their funding. You're supposed to represent the state. 
You and your clients dumped on, on your client, you and your colleagues dumped on your client again, didn't you? Uh, Senator, as Solicitor General Brasher told this case, told this committee uh, a few years ago, the Solicitor General does not make those decisions. Right, right. This is what your, you and your boss said. And I, I, it's your boss's words, but I didn't see you objecting. He said, today, quote, I'm going to quote, today, lawyers from my office are arguing that we must invest more money in our public schools so our students can get sound, basic public education. You dumped, y'all dumped on your client. You did the same thing. You refused to represent the state, the state of, Car uh, of North Carolina in defending uh, the law with respect to, uh, to uh, abortion, too, didn't you? Senator, I, I had no role. Oh, uh, you in knew nothing about it. Well, I was, I was aware of it happening, right, but... Right, right. Oh, okay. Senator, the, the Attorney General... Look, you're a smart young man. I'm, I'm, uh, my, my esteemed chairman's going to cut me off. But you can't... I know you're smart, and I know th you think you're more virtuous than, than, than other people. But that's a dangerous trait when you're a federal judge. I just don't think you're mature enough to be a federal judge. I don't think you'll follow the law. I think you'll try to bend the law to what you think is right. And that undermines our federal judiciary. And I don't think you've been candid with this committee. You know that, and I know that. And your record knows that. Do you want to complete your answer to any of those questions? Uh, thank you, Chair Durbin. I, you know, on the voter ID dispute, I think that's, that's a helpful illustration. Uh, I had no role in the, the trial court proceedings. Uh, I don't even believe I was updated as uh, the litigation in the trial court uh, was happening. Uh, but when we had uh, an adverse order, uh, my role was to play a part in authorizing the appeal. I did authorize the appeal, and uh, lawyers in my office prevailed in vacating the injunction uh, against the voter ID law that had been entered by the district court. Uh, there was a side dispute on intervention as to whether the legislative leaders should have been allowed to intervene. I think two points there. Uh, we never opposed their uh, right to intervene. We, I told the Supreme Court that in a brief that I signed, that we do not oppose their right to intervene. Uh, and we also said in, in, in a brief that, that I, uh, I worked on and authored large parts of, I substantively defended the voter ID law. Uh, I explained that uh, the voter ID law was compliant with Supreme Court precedent and that we were prepared to defend it below and that uh, we would do so. And I had, um, I remember drafting this part of the brief, uh, extensive argumentation about why the voter ID law in North Carolina was constitutional. M Mr. Chairman, Senator, can I respond? Please? Sure, go ahead. Take 30 seconds. I will. Look, Counselor, those are pretty words, but I'm going to tell you something. I've studied your record, and if I hired you as a lawyer, and you did to me what you did to your client, the people of North Carolina, I'd have brought you to the Bar Association. I'd have filed a complaint against you for violations of the Code of Ethics. I now recognize Senator Ossoff, and I apologize for favoring Senator Butler, as usual. Uh, you should have been